The last section of reports we'll look at provides more traditional reporting. This is where the bulk amount of information will live on a restaurant account. There are a number of reports for customers to choose from, so we will hit on the core three reports that we recommend all customers use. The first is the sales report. We'll use this report to establish how all reports in this section of the control panel work. At the top of each report are a set of filters. These filters change the initial information you see. On the sales report, the default is seeing sales broken up by menu category. I can change this to any of the options listed here, like order item, super group, meal period, and a whole lot more. Once you have the filter you want selected, you can dive deeper into your reports by using the row filters here. You can do this continuously until you have the specific information you want to see. A common example is seeing which server sold the most of your best-selling item in your most popular category. The payments report can be used to break down the various payments that have been applied to your orders. This report works the same way as the sales report, just with different filters available. You can use this report to quickly see all of your refunds through the action filter. The last report we'll take a look at is the action log. This is the most important report for restaurant owners and managers to ensure their employees are properly using the POS. This report tracks every button press and action that occurs in and out of orders. Actions like time clock punches, cash drawer opening, refunds, voids, and more are tracked on this report. You can then use the filters to see who is conducting which action and obtain some additional details. More specific actions are also tracked here. Some of these include clock punch edited and items removed after check printed. 